Welcome to our review of the Traveler's Campground. If you're looking for a great place to park your RV for a few days, a month, or longer, look no further than Traveler's Campground. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of what to expect when you visit this Florida RV campground and why it's one of our favorite places to stay in Northern Florida. We spent a month at Traveler's Campground in January of 2023. It's located right off the I-75, so it's very accessible for anyone traveling in and out of Florida. Let's check out the campground. The site features many RV pull-through sites and tent campsites, a large playground, a warm heated pool, two dog parks, and of course, an amazing petting seal. Some people stay here for just a few nights, in which there are spacious pull-through sites for big rigs, and others stay for months and even years. On the other side of the park where our campsite is, is one of two large dog parks and the residents of the park, the people who stay for a long time. Our neighbor loves this park so much that he's been living here for four years. As a full-time travel family, we appreciated how much space we had in this park. <laughs> And so did our German Shepherd and our two-year-old toddler. Compared to a lot of other parks that we went to, it seems like the management and the people who work here really care about the livelihood of the guests and of the park, as everything is really clean, and they take such a great pride in their work and how they care for the animals. As let's get parked to what is the most amazing part of the park itself is the petting zoo that is home to all sorts of animals that you get to feed and talk to and touch. And they are just such interesting, lovely souls that we are just fortunate enough to spend time with so closely as we don't normally get that opportunity when we live in urban cities to really be one with the, the animals, these six pack of donkeys. I saw from my bus window as they have this large field that they graze over in the meadow. We give this campground a perfect five-star rating because of the friendly staff, spacious sites, and the petting zoo. The petting zoo is really unique as in other RV parks, you don't really see this much wildlife when you look outside your window. So this park is exceptionally special. We love seeing and feeding the goats, pigs, donkeys, horses, emu, and chickens every day. Having a petting zoo within a campground was definitely a first for us. It's an added bonus for toddler travel as they see the animals and they get to touch them up close. As a full-time travel family, I appreciated having the animals close by as it gave us something new and exciting to do each day. The lovely staff of the Traveler's Campground take care of the animals daily. We started giving the animals all of our compost thanks to a bucket that one of the staff gave us. Our entire family loves seeing the animals, even our German Shepherd got used to them. Just taking walks and wandering in the park gave us so much joy as there was always something to see from one corner to the next of the campground. So now let's go check out the five parrots. So they were all born what here. What's that? So they don't know, they don't know Brazil. 
meet eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and crash. Those parrots are very, very talkative. They like to make a lot of noise. Watch out. But as you can see, my family had a really nice time feeding the parrots, talking to the parrots. They greet you every single time you go to the park, which is right beside these, these parrots. So every time you do come to Traveler's Campground, be sure that you spend some time talking to these, these colorful souls here at Traveler's Campground. Yeah, it's going in the dryer. Put it in the dryer. Does it help? No, no, this one. Put it in the dryer. This one. Even though Lucia wasn't the most helpful at doing laundry, the facility itself was amazing compared to other places as it's set up with an app that you can pay through. Instead of having to run around looking for coins, we were able to do laundry easily. And as you can see, there's lots of machines that are actually really up to date. So we appreciated doing laundry here at Traveler's Campground. Plus there's a vending machine full of laundry essentials if you were to forget something. So doing laundry here is a plus. Traveler's Campground is very affordable as we spent about $1,000 for the month and that's approximately $34 a night. That's an amazing price as it's not $150 a night like other. If your family will be traveling in and out of Florida, we highly recommend that you stop at the Traveler's Campground for at least a night or more and sit back, enjoy, and relax the countryside. Mm -hmm. 